Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing fine and are taking care of yourselves. My name is Kanika Tandon and I am here with the video of class 8 English 2nd. In today's video, we are going to complete the question answers in text question and exercise of chapter number 4, March, which, which was remaining. And uh, let us start our vi today's video. Starting our today's video with the in text question of chapter number 4, uh, the name of the chapter is March. So, uh, first in text question on page number 62, what experiment does the author suggest for uh, guessing the temperature? So, the author suggests that his readers count the number of crickets chirps per minute, divide the total by 4 and add 40 to it. This will give the temperature of the room in Fahrenheit, he says. So, as we have studied in the chapter, this was an experiment that, that uh, was... Um, actually uh, taken into count by the author that if we um, count the number of chirps per minute that a cricket do does and is and if, if we divide it by 4 and then add 40, 40 to it it will give us the temperature in fahrenheit now the second question is the leaves of which tree does author recommend as bookmarks and why so the author suggests that the readers use the leaves of peoples and banyans as bookmarks. Next is, why do you think the narrator means by the phrase, their throats open up? So the author means that the koyal song begins to become clearer and sweeter during the march. That, that me, he meant that their throats open up. So that, that, that the reason uh, behind their throats opening up is the actual reason why they uh, we hear their sound very clear and clearer and better next is on page number 63 which is the last in text question when does the magpie robin sing so the magpie robin usually sings only in the early hours of the mo morning or at the twilight and evening Coming on to reference to context on page number 64. Second question. Humans are not the only ones to be fooled by the weather. Insects said to be endowed with an extra sense of forecasting the weather suffer heavy losses. So we have already uh, read in the chapter that uh, March, is an very, March is a very unpredictable month. And because of this unpredictability, uh, uh, the insects are also the one who suffers because now we don't know what what kind of a weather is going to be same it goes with the insects so the month of march experiences unpredictable seasonal changes while some days may be cold enough for warm warm woolen clothes to be worn others may turn out to be hot the sun also behaves erratically as a result people are often fooled and one fails to predict how the weather will be in march second is how does the sun behave in this month so in march sun behaves in a very erratical way it comes up early than it is expected to and also sets a little earlier than in that that then is in the norm third is which insects does this weather affect and how so mosquitoes flies and moths are the in insects that are affected by the most by the unpredictable weather in march they come out of hiding to disturb humans only to find that it is freezing, freezing cold, thus dying in the process. So these mosquitoes, flies and moths are very, their body cannot actually live in a, live in a very low temperature area. In, and if you want, really want to experience this, uh, if you have AC in your room, uh, uh, switch on the AC and um, uh, make the temperature 16 degree and after one hour you will see that there will be no flies and no uh, mosquitoes left because their body do not allow them to uh, be in a place where the temperature is really low coming on to question number three in March the Lodi Gardens and the Buddha Jayanti Park are much frequented by picnickers so question number one is what is special about the Buddha Jayanti Park in March so in March the Buddha Jayanti Park is beautiful as flowers are planted in rows in masses so in um, Buddha Jayanti Park they plant more and more flowers and it looks very beautiful there 
second is which is the best day to visit these parks so the best way time to visit these parks is during the afternoon of holi which bird can be seen in the lodi gardens at this time of the year so the birds that one can see in lodi gardens at this time of year are shrikes and owlets fourth is in the last week of the month spring vegetables and fruits flooded the market flood the market which vegetable and fruits are found in the market uh, during march one can find cucumbers kakadis watermelons cantaloupes musk melon and mangoes from the south and alfonso in the market which cities are famous for their musk melon the musk melons of saranpur and tonk are famous what has happened in the recent years to quality of melons most of the melons nowadays are rather juicy and taste sweet coming on to the read reflect and write uh, question number 5 make a table of the names of the birds flowers and vegetables to be found in delhi in march as listed by the author so the birds flowers vegetables vulture pansies cucumber kites phlox kakadis neophons salvias watermelon coel violets mulberries crow pheasants bougainvilleas mangoes bells musk melons golden oriole orioles cantaloupes coppersmiths mac macpie robin owlets and shrikes these are the birds and animals and flower bl- birds flowers and vegetables that are found in delhi in the month of march question number 6 why do you think the narrator choose to describe the month of march and not any other month give reasons so month march is the month of transition one where you can see the val- val- uh, vagaries of nature in the fullest the month is rather unpredictable as has spoken about so ex- executely executively in the uh, account by the author in addition the very fact that every aspects of life transforms in such a lovely manner is perhaps what has prompted the author to choose this month over others now coming on to the last question of this chapter question number 7 the author seems to have an eye for human behavior and also for flowers birds insects and even for fruits and vegetables what does this say about the author so this shows that the author has a keen eye for detail he is highly observant and is also blessed with the ability to weave magic in his words to hold the readers spellbound with his vivid description one more thing that we uh, we as readers can gauge from the beautiful account in his humorous nature something evident in his description of the two vultures that have been living in the elianthus tree starting with the exercise of the chapter chapter number a4 on page number 64 complete the following sentences march is an unpredictable month because it could be as cold as winter one day and the next day could be as warm as spring a cricket chirps can can be a close substitute for thermometer because the warmer uh, it is the more a cricket chirps the soft wood of elianthus is used for making match stick and packing cases there are more birds call in march than in other month because it is the start of the nesting season the shrike is also known as butter butcher bird because it has a bad habit of impaling live insects on thorns coming on to the next page uh, circle the right expressions of the following sentences so on behalf of or for behalf of the school so it is on behalf of the school i would like to i would like to thank all the parents you may leave now or stay longer it is on you or up to you so it is up to you all in a sudden all of a sudden i heard her footsteps on the staircase so it is all of a sudden try and stay out of you have or up of trouble it is out of trouble i ran till i was out of breath it has come to my to our attention that your son is not attending the classes i can assure you that it is a happiness or a pleasure to deal with you it is a pleasure to deal with you could you ho- could you hold up or hold on for a moment please coming on to the next exercise 
Fill in the blanks with a suitable relati relative pronoun. Ravi found what he was looking for. He reported the theft of his car that had uh, been stolen for, from his garage. Mr. Shiv Kumar is a gentleman whose shop was inaugurated by the chief minister. Nobody can figure out what is troubling the anxious lady. We pity the beggars whom we see begging on the street. Shamila, who is the best friend of my is who is my best friend, has invited me to her house. I was disappointed because Sudhir and Harsh, whom I had invited to the party, didn't reach on time. Now we have to complete the sentences using relative pronoun. Doesn't he look like the man who lost his watch yesterday? We were about to leave when Hira, who was wearing a red skirt, came in. The crows chased the eagle that was trying to eat their younger ones. I really liked the book which was bought last Wednesday. Which you bought last Wednesday? What were the clues that you received? Please make a list of things that you want for your birthday. This is the packet which had been stolen last night. Those are the fruits that I wished to buy. So with this, this chapter is over and now I hope that you all have understood. I request you to please complete your work in your notebooks and also prepare well for your examination. So all the best for your examination. I will see you all later. Thank you.